Now, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission just ordered major technology companies to fork over details on waves of small acquisitions made during the last decade. A more sizable deal is also seen as a target for the regulator, Google's $1.1 billion purchase of mapping app Waze. To discuss this and all of the other top stories of the week, it is Wedbush Managing Director Dan Ives and also with us, Techonomy founder and Bloomberg contributor David Kirkpatrick. I want to start with that FTC news. David, I was speaking to an analyst earlier this week and he said of the big five companies that were targeted by the FTC, Facebook, by and large, is at most at risk. Do you agree? Probably. I think Facebook's behavior just has generally been more reckless. So even though we don't know what they will find in such an investigation, my guess is there's more likelihood they'll find questionable things with Facebook. And it's partly because this is the youngest company of the five. And in, in effect, it's the most immaturely run, in my opinion. Dan, your thoughts. After Facebook, who else? Is it Alphabet? Who else is most at risk from this becoming a real threat? Yeah, I think it's Alphabet. And I think also this was a shot across the bow in terms of at Fang and larger tech just showing that acquisition is going to be a lot more scrutinized. And, and I think when you look at Facebook and Alphabet, obviously front and center, Apple has obviously not been acquisitive. But I think this was, you know, looking back, but also even looking forward as the strong continue to get stronger in big tech. And this is becoming you know, really a political football that's being tossed around across the beltway. David, I think some of the concerns are always around the big acquisitions. You think in Instagram, you think of WhatsApp. This FTC order, though, is targeting those smaller acquisitions. Sometimes the smarter acquisitions are harder to break out. Maybe they're bought because of the talent. How do you now go back and break out the small acquisitions? Well, I'm not sure we'll see them requiring anything to be broken out. But I mean, it, it, even analyzing the impact and hypothetically what would have happened if these little deals had not occurred is going to be really, really difficult. So I, I think this is in many ways a, an unusual effort on the part of the FTC. And I, I frankly don't know exactly what they're heading toward. Uh, one thing, though, that it really does say is that all of these companies have entered what is effectively a new era of constant constant scrutiny and greater and greater eventual regulation. Dan, I have to ask, why are we talking about antitrust instead of data privacy? Well, I mean, data privacy is going to continue to be there, but I think it's it's really, if you look what's happening right now, I mean, in terms of tech, you're seeing across all different segments, stronger getting stronger. I think from an antitrust perspective, that's really becoming front and center. Data privacy, we've seen obviously over the last few years, is going to continue to be a focus. But in terms of antitrust, I think as a general risk to FANG names, you know, that's really right now very topical for tech investors going into 2020. And I do think this just shows M&A is going to be a lot more scrutinized going forward.